Yeah, um, I I had met him. I uh, I worked uh, worked alongside him uh, a few times. Uh, I gave him a ride back from a job site a few times, um, and uh, and he was um, he was uh, quiet as a rule. Um, he would he would. Uh, he would usually respond to a conversation or a query if he started it, but he wasn't going to, he wasn't going to elaborate on anything. And um, so I just, I just uh, left him alone pretty much, even though we were um, of roughly similar age and engaged in roughly similar uh, occupations. Um, he, uh, he just uh, gave off the, um, the aura of somebody who, who just uh, wanted to be engaged in their own little thing. Yeah. It was quite, uh, you know, he had, he in, in, in several ways kind of fit the profile of somebody who would, who would, who you might call weird or somewhat eccentric, but um, this being kind of a suburb of Berkeley and being part of the Oakland Berkeley uh, metropolitan area um, of, of that kind of um, personality is, is tolerated pretty well around here. I, I, I got the sense that someday, one way or another, he was probably going to be found out to be doing something odd, uh, whether it had, you know, whether it was of a sexual nature or whether it wouldn't have been a property crime. He seemed trustworthy that way, but just something behaviorally odd would come up sooner or later. Um, yeah, I, I, I guess I would say, I guess I would say it's, it, it's, it, it's, it points to, to some degree, it, it, it points to the fact that people who are close to him and I'm, one could argue, I would say I had proximity to him, but, uh, and, and, and I, and I'm not going to name names or point fingers and he, he was isolated, but, it, but I would say that it, it's uh, it's problematic that people who were close to him weren't uh, weren't able to engage him. But you know, that that comes out to ascribing blame for his actions on other people, and and maybe you can't go there. It's a whole topic in itself.